welcome to another episode of the Chemistry Podcast. I am sorry I'm a little late. I was supposed to be here last week, but um, I have just been insanely busy. I have had two venues, two weekends in a row. Advents needed to be dyed, <laughs> twisted. Um, uh, they needed to have cute wrapping. <laughs> they needed to be packed and shipped so there was just no time for a podcast last friday and uh if i even if i did uh, manage to cut some time out i don't think that would have been a pretty sight so that is why i'm a week late i apologize for that but uh now camera it has taken a breather <laughs> all the advents has been shipped and all the knitting events for this year are over so uh that's a huge relief uh even though i enjoy doing both the advents and going to all the knitting events, it's uh, really good to have like a huge amount of that uh, workload <laughs> over and done with. So we can just kind of slowly get ready for December and Vlogmas. So yes, I'm doing Vlogmas again this year. But first let me introduce myself. My name is Camilla. I am a knitwear designer and hand dyer. I uh, sit here in my little office uh, every other Friday to talk about Knitting, yarn, what's going on in my life, on my needles, in my work. Um, I live here in Denmark, in Scandinavia, with my husband and our two daughters. My oldest daughter, Nomi, is 20 years old and she's right now in Tanzania. And my youngest, Esther, is 17 and she's in high school. And I have Teddy, who is a very cute little, he's an older man now, but he's a golden retriever and he is nine. And uh, sometimes he will join me here on the channel, usually when I do vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, and of course, he'll be here every day in December as well. I know some of you are only here for Teddy. <laughs> he has his own little fan group, which is cute. He, he, really, he, he really enjoys that. So anyway, welcome to the channel. This is episode number 76. And today is November 10th. So welcome to the show. I uh, was actually, I sat down to start to record and I realized that uh, half the stuff I was going to show you was at my new place. Uh, some of you might know that I am transitioning. I am, the business, the chemistry business is leaving the house. It's uh, right now in two places because I still dye the yarn here in the house, but I have all the finished, <laughs> all the dyed yarn in my new location. Um, right now it's a mess i have an electrician is that the word he's an electrician he's doing all the electricity ready for all my new not new uh heaters <laughs> no that's not the word um my little stove <laughs> so that i have um more room for all my pots so i can dye even more yarn and i bought a new oven and I will show you all that later uh, not today but another day but so right now uh, the electrician is there working on so I have as many um, <laughs> plugs <laughs> as possible and also Lars is there working on I bought this big uh, sink for like uh, industrial kitchens at least it's like a middle and two huge sinks and more middle. So uh, it will be very good for me when I need to wash the yarn after I dye it. I'll have two sinks and it's all metal. So it'll be easy to clean and yeah, it'll be so much better. I can save more water and that's a good thing. So uh, yeah, I'm working on moving into my new location and um, we have invited people for a little reception on Thursday the 23rd, so hopefully we will be done by then. I, as I have said before, I'm sharing this uh, space with uh, Tine. Uh, she has, uh, I, I have most of the space, but she has a little a bit of the space and where she can have all her stuff and downstairs I will have most of my stuff. But I'll show you once we get a little closer <laughs> to having it all done. And I have been recording um, during so that uh, at some point I can do like a whole video about moving into this location. But it's it's turning out really good. Um, and it's so exciting to get all this stuff out of the house and have a house that's just a home and not a workspace. 
In the beginning, it was nice to have it all here at the house, but now, um, since my business is growing, I can I can just tell it's really good that I have a place <laughs> that I can just nip and relax so um yeah it's gonna be really good to have it all out of the house and since it's a bigger place i can be more productive and i can dye more yarn at a time and because i got this new oven i can dye even more yarn so i think the days when i dye yarn i can just dye much more and that leaves i don't know if it'll leave me <laughs> time but i will make then therefore i will be able to make time for sitting here at the computer and designing and working and um great great all my designs i have three designs that are ready and uh, none of them are out yet so <laughs> that will that will happen but speaking of designs this is my bandel sweater um you have seen it before i think i wore it the last episode or i know i wore it the last episode because i just watched it and i was i was thinking can i wear it again but i have to wear it again because now it's ready it's done so the pattern is done um but i need testers just to be sure not that the, the pattern works or not because i know it works i have take errors to kind of go through everything but just to double check the amount of yarn needed for the different sizing because of course i can do a calculation but i never know exactly so i will be needing testers so if you're interested in testing my banyal sweater send me an email i prefer testers who will uh test in my yarn uh and it really doesn't have to be exactly my brand of yarn but if you can find the donald gold tweed in your local yarn store i would prefer um this my own version is knit in one strand of the donegal in the colorway tennessee warbler i can't even show you the yarn because i don't have it here at the house anymore uh, but one strand of the donegal tweed in the tennessee warbler and the silk mohair in the scallop shell and it the scallop shell is kind of a soft pink but it adds a little warmth to the gray and uh i just had one made for esther i didn't knit this myself i have help thank you Yede. <laughs> and she made this one for esther and uh, both the silk mohair and the dongle tweed is in the colorway sand viper so it's a it's a lighter gray and it still has a little bit of warmth it's not a cold gray it has a little uh, yeah, well, that's why it's called a sand viper because the sand viper is that it's like a warm gray. It has a little bit of speckles here and there, but uh, because there's also these nips in the tweed, it kind of doubles with the with the effect of the speckles. Yeah, so it's knit in two strands of uh, of yarn and. Well, Camilla, do we really need another stockinette raglan sweater top down? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, I did at least. I needed a version that doesn't have too much space here. I don't like when the sweaters, the, when this part is just too long. I like it to be not fitted, but so when I have my arms like this, I don't have like a wings like a bat. <laughs> um, so that's why I made this. And I like that the the raglan 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 <laughs> is uh, looks like this so that is my little take on it it has short rows to shape the neck a little bit and i just really like the fitting of this sweater so uh silly bagnol sweater and if you are interested in testing this for me just send me an email no comments down below you yeah, comment down below but not if you want to test send me an email if you want to test this um also approximately what size you would like to test uh i don't need that many testers this time just one for each size and i'll be fine so um yeah let me know if you would like to test um the advance has been sent out they have all gone uh it was uh it was it took Lars and i a whole day to pack all the all the advents and uh, we did that in the new space because there's a lot of room there um so we made a huge pot of coffee and some good music and we had a good time while we were packing all the orders and i sent them all out with love and i can't wait um to get them out there and do vlogmas with you i still have three no four left one single no yes <laughs> one single ply one gold 
and two in the Chemidio stock base. Uh, that's it. So if you want to grab one now, don't hesitate because there are only those four left. And so I have shared with you the luxury alpaca base that I recently got in my shop. It is a 70% baby alpaca, 20% silk and 10% cashmere. It is a DK weight yarn. I have used it for my Elvine mittens and uh, hat. And uh, I wanted to do a design for like a little scarf. Uh, and I wanted stripes and I kind of wanted it to have a little um, mm. Actually, I wanted to have a little bit more than it does. So I'm thinking I'll redo the pattern and do um, some more uh, decreases increases i'll do more increases so that it's a little bit wider this way because it's garter stitch it kind of likes to roll like that so i'm thinking about um, redoing this <laughs> but i just really like the uh, that it's not too big like a huge shawl but it's just big enough to wrap it around your neck twice and tie a little knot and just kind of have it be a little like this. That's what I really like. So I'll redo this one. I think I'll just redo this one. <laughs> no, do it again. And uh, But I just really, really, really like this base and it's perfect to do a scarf with only, and then you only need two skeins of yarn for this. Uh, you might even need only one, but uh, I like to do the stripes. But as you can see, it kind of rolls. And I did block this, <laughs> but uh, it's still rolling. So I think I'll redo it and just add some uh, width. I will just make this a little... I think I'll just make this a little wider and try it again. What do you say? Do you like it? It's cute. I think it's cute yeah I want to do that wider sometimes you just have to um, when you design something redo them over and over until you get them just right and I did all the measurements be but because the garter stitch has a tendency to roll that much it just kind of gets more narrow compared to what I wanted so I could either do it wider or I can do some um, stockinette stitching like the first three stitches, just do those um, in garter stitch instead of stuck in it, and that will just kind of help it stay uh, in its place. But I, I just kind of like that uh, stuck in it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna experiment a little bit more with that. Um, the last knitted finished object that I have to show you today is another version of the Anna um, Anna's bubble cardigan. Uh, this is also in my organic wool uh, linen base uh, this time in the colorway new and uh, Yeda knit this for me she does that sometimes she knits for me when I need a little help and um, I just thought that this blue version was very cute and even with these um, blue buttons I think it's uh, adorable this is a size two years and it's uh, enough with two skeins of yarn for this and um, yeah, the bubbles are just subtle and uh, I love this yarn. It's um, it's soft and the linen will just uh, get softer and softer as you wear it. So it's, uh, it's a perfect yarn for baby knitting and children knitting. And yeah, I really, uh, I really like this yarn. I'm just going to do more colors <laughs> and still if you have any wishes for colors for the organic wool base please let me know down below uh, what kind of colors you think would be good for the base I have a thing for pink so <laughs> I'm thinking a scallop shell might be the next color that I do on the organic I know I will do the scallop shell on the on the alpaca base uh, because I think it would look really good with this elephant and I have uh, dyed the alpaca deluxe
face in this elephant color and I just thought that would be very cool with um, my scallop shell is almost this color and I think these two colors go together so good so I will dye some of that so we can have some more colors in those two new bases also the bird of the month is out so this month's bird uh, is the robin or the European robin uh, it's such a pretty bird and I think the colors are just perfect for the fall. I'll put a little picture of the bird up here so you can see for yourself and the pre-orders are open and I'm gonna let them stay open for uh, a couple of more days I think uh, or actually I'll just start to dye the yarn maybe today or tomorrow and once I start I'll just kind of put a certain amount of birds available for the pre-orders and then when they are sold out they are sold out. So don't wait if you want the bird. And then next year we will do another theme. I'm still thinking how to work that if we should do the exact same, just that you order um, a skein of yarn every month or if it would be good to have like three skeins and then you buy for three months at a time. Um, I'm just afraid that I'll leave someone out that just wants a skein every now and then. So there are different ways to get around that. I was thinking that also you can just order it but just then leave it here and then I can ship them whenever you have ordered <laughs> a certain amount of, of uh, yarns um, I'm still I'm still thinking about that <laughs> the only uh, project that I'm working on since I finished this little striped scarf is um, I am working a little bit on the socks that I showed you the last time so it has been three weeks and I I think I did like an inch or two <laughs> like uh, I don't know five centimeters maybe and uh, that is that's actually all I've been doing. I have uh, yesterday I worked a little bit more on my cozy memories blanket. I have showed that before. Maybe I should just I should just go grab it. But I have been working on this for my brother and his uh, girlfriend, and I've been working on this <laughs> blanket for I don't know how long, like so long. And um, but it's okay. It's just every now and then I just feel like working another little square and uh, at some point I guess it'll be big enough for them to uh, have it for Christmas not this Christmas but maybe next year who knows I'm not stressing about it it's just every now and then when I'm in the mood I will uh, pick it up and and work a little square I'll just go grab that blanket to share I have it here see these are the socks <laughs> I have really not made a lot of progress since the last time I shared that with you then I cast it on in this funny yarn did a little swatch don't know for what yet <laughs> it's just the base that I got I was um, thinking about doing another uh, woolly I'll show you the I can't share the woolly because it's not here the woolly clutch is a collaboration I did with Tina from Sociale I dyed the yarn and she did the inside of the clutch and I have those available online and you can go check those out. I will link them down below. But you just kind of knit a little. You knit like the outside of the clutch. And then you sew the inside to the knitted piece. <laughs> and you have a cute little clutch with a zipper and everything. Uh, that the zipper has already been installed. Installed. Sewed into the inside <laughs> of the clutch. So I thought this was just another fabric idea for a clutch. But in here I have the Cozy Memories blanket. And I'm knitting on a four millimeter needle, which is a US six. And I did a few squares yesterday. Uh, I did those two and I started this one. And this is how far I have gotten. <laughs> it's so hard to show. Yeah. It's mindless. And I needed mindless yesterday, so this felt good. And um, actually, that's that's all I have on my needles. I am, I have been trying to decide uh, what to what project to cast on. I really wanted to um, knit one of my own designs in my own yarn. I have so because I started to design way before I started to dye yarn. I still have a lot of my models. Models. a lot of my work when I go to venues uh, they have not been knit up in my own yarn usually it will be whatever yarn I designed the pattern in at the time and I would just like to have 
a version of all the designs that I ever did in my own yarn. And I'm really, I really want to do the forest pine sweater, which is like a deep green, hunter's green uh, sweater with uh, white lice all over it. I'll put a picture in here. And I really want to do that in my organic wool linen because I think that's just a perfect base for a fair isle sweater. But I also want to cast on a new version of my yellow lichen on rocks um, in another colorway. <laughs> so it's just that I'm just, I'm just so indecisive. And since I can't decide what to do, I'm just not doing anything. So I'm just um, waiting to be inspired <laughs> so I can make a decision on what to, what to cast on. And... Actually, when I was at this uh, FIBA Folk this Sunday, which is a um, Danish knitting event, it, it comes, It I think it's uh, now, it's three different cities in Denmark, and starting next year, they're taking over the Fainu Knitting Festival. And they had a knitting festival this weekend on Sunday in Olbo, and it was, uh, we had such a good time. I have some footage of that, I'll put that here at the end of the episode. And... Um, when I at, when I'm at these venues and I'm looking at all my yarn and I'm looking at all the um, designs that I have on my display, I get inspired. And when I talk to people and I see what kind of yarn they buy and what they want to knit with it, I get inspired as well. I say, yes, I want to do that too. I want to do that too. And um, not this weekend, but the weekend before, there was uh, a girl visiting my uh, booth. And she did the yellow lichen on rocks in like a green version. And it was just so pretty. And she bought some yarn for her mom for her for Christmas in like neutrals and brown tones as well. And I thought that was just so pretty too. <laughs> so I think I just might have to go to my new place and uh, and look at all the yarn <laughs> and decide what colors to do for the uh, yellow lichen on rocks. And I need to decide something because uh, next weekend... Actually, in a week from now, I am going to go to Barcelona. Lars and I have decided to go to the Barcelona Knitting Festival. Just, I'm not bringing my yarn. I'm not there as a vendor or anything. I'm just there to explore and uh, revisit Barcelona. I was there a few years ago with my work. And this time I can just look at yarn and uh, walk around Barcelona hand in hand with my husband and uh, enjoy ourselves. And I will be meeting up with... A bunch of my friends, a bunch of podcast podcasting friends, and I can't wait to see them. And uh, I will be doing a vlog, of course. So the next time you see me, it will be with footage from Barcelona and um, and some of my podcasting friends as well. So I'm so excited to see them in real life. I have never seen them in real life before. We usually chat uh, on uh, Teams every now and then. We'll just sit there and knit and talk and uh, or we will just chat a lot we chat a lot on our little chat <laughs> we have a little chat um, on instagram where we talk and i can't wait to see them and also i know that uh, Livia and may will be there and stephen west will be there and i'm already i'm pre-starstruck already <laughs> um yeah so i'm so excited and the weather is supposed to be really nice so yeah i can't wait to get out of the house and have a little time uh, where it's, uh, the weather is so much better than here. Here it's, in Denmark it's really cold and uh, winter is just around the corner. But I know Barcelona is warm and nice. So, can't wait to go there and explore. And anything else I need to share? No, I think that was all for now. Um, stay tuned because I will show you a little bit from the Knitting Festival in Knitting Festival. The Fiber Folk Festival in Olbo. Uh, this last Sunday. Uh, stay tuned. And the next time I will see you, it will be with a little vlog from Barcelona. So, um, and after that, I will be ready with, I think there will be one more just regular podcast before Vlogmas. So uh, stay tuned for Vlogmas as well. Um, I will always do like a pre Vlogmas episode uh, ready for December 1st and then it's rolling. So I can't wait to do Vlogmas and uh, hang out with you every day in December. Until then, see you. Take care, guys. Bye. Good morning. It's very early. Um, today it is Sunday, November 5th. It's uh, almost 6.30. It's 
So I'm on my way to pick up Tine. Today we are going to the FIBA Folk Festival in Olbo. It's the first time they're doing the FIBA Folk Festival in Olbo. And I have packed the van. I rented a big van. I packed it yesterday. Me and Lars packed it yesterday. And uh, since Tina and I now share a workspace, we're still kind of moving into that workspace and we haven't, I haven't at least start, started to work down there yet, but still we have our stuff down there, both of us. So we were just both at the place yesterday packing the car. Now I'm going to pick up Tina and I just now decided to do a little vlog about this. And also because it's the first time Tina and I actually share, no, it's not the first time we share a booth, but it's the first time that we kind of go together to a yarn event and from the beginning at least have a joint setup. So I'm going to pick up uh, Tina now. I know she's really not a morning person. <laughs> she likes to uh, stay up late and uh, sleep in. And I'm the opposite. I like to go to bed early and get up really early. So um, I haven't told her that we're recording today. So she, she might get a little, I don't know <laughs> if she'll be. I am not talking for the first hour. I don't know. I don't know how Tina is in the morning, but let's find out. Um, let's jump in the van and let's get going. We are in front of Tina's house and uh, she's on her way. Uh, it's unfortunately it's raining so um, I hope she got all her stuff packed so it won't get wet and we hope that it won't rain when we get there because my yarn really doesn't like to get wet either well I'll go out and open the door for Tina so she can get all her stuff in here and uh, we have an hour and 15 minutes drive to Albo so uh, this will be a good road trip I wish I had coffee but I have reached an age that I can't drive an hour and 15 minutes on coffee without having to stop to go to the restroom so <laughs> I will wait um, and have coffee when I get there It's 10 o'clock and we are opening, we are not opening, but the venue is opening and we are ready. Are we ready, Tina? Yes, we are so, so ready. ready. Look who I found! Hello! Good to see ya! So in real life we actually live only an hour apart, an yeah, hour and 20 yeah. minutes. So Not too bad. And today you came to my town. Today I came to Valina's town. <gasps> Yay! Fiber so Falcon Aalborg. I just wanted to check in and uh, and show you Valina was here. <laughs> <laughs> and I found yarn. Look. Yes. She got my Tennessee wobbler. It's just a bird. Thank you. Yay. We call it Sleeve Island because it's the same color as her dress and her sleeve. 
Ta-da!